Well, as we've been talking about, today is Halloween. You're probably busy making last-minute costume adjustments or stocking up on all that candy. Cake Stewart Shefty is here now. Jordan, others are prepping for the holiday in a different way, though, right? That's right, Mike and Jamel. Walking around on Halloween night, you can see a number of extravagant lawn decorations, like in-garage haunted houses and spooky scenes, but some are stealing the fun out of decorating. Linda Emmert has been growing her collection of Halloween decorations for over 20 years. Miss Roaming Witch, she slides. For Halloween, she shows off her spooky pieces by holding a haunted house in her garage. It's fun just to decorate and stuff, but I love seeing the reaction and the faces of the people. But for the past few years, instead of having her decorations on display for the entire holiday season, she's had to resort to day of decorating. There's people that tend to come and take things out of your yard, whether it's pranks or just vandalism. So to protect her pieces, Linda now stores all of her decorations in her garage and then scrambles to move pieces out to the driveway and lawn on the day of Halloween. You just get really stressed time-wise trying to do everything. Wichita police say that crime does tend to pick up over the Halloween season. Around uh, the time from Halloween through Christmas, a lot of people put out decorations uh, which become popular for vandalism. Uh, thefts, things like that, and some of these decorations are actually pretty, pretty expensive. Linda's priciest loss? It was probably a $600 animatronic. It was a uh, Grim Reaper guy that kind of moved. To try to protect these expensive items, Linda has put up motion detectors. Some other decorators have taken it a step further and have installed security cameras. The problem is that a lot of the cameras, they'll show someone stealing something hard to identify actually who it is that's stealing it. For Linda, storing her items has been the best solution, so the decorations will remain in her garage until later today when she can set up for the scare. We could have done a lot of that outside and not had to worry about taking it down the same day. If you do leave your decorations outside for the holiday season, police recommend taking pictures, especially of unique pieces, so that if they are stolen, police know what to look for. <laughs> this is what I'm working with next week. Don't worry, I've got my own. Well, you've got a little good. extra makeup for the day. Happy Excellent. Halloween, everyone. <laughs> we We're ready, are you? <laughs> okay, what time is it? 6.37. Coming up. Let's face it, playing the stock market can be downright scary these days. Scary it is. Coming up in Money Matters, we'll tell you about another kind of investment that could really pay off. And it's information you'll definitely want to collect.